over here at the Ram Man. We've got a friend of ours truck in. He's from Denton, Texas, actually. And he's got this 2002 Dually. And uh, he's been through two or three uh, bearings uh, changes already. And uh, he's over it. So he's decided to bring it over here. And uh, he's purchased a set of our hubs, locking hubs, that we're going to install on this truck. And as you can see, we don't have anything fancy going on right here. The common man can do this with, with common tools. And since the unit just slides on as one piece and you don't have a whole bunch of bearings all strewn out over a table, this is only about a two or three hour project. And uh, I've seen it done faster than that. I had one old boy put them on 40 minutes aside. So, uh, God bless you. Watch and enjoy. So we're getting ready to put these uh, locking hubs on 2002 out there. And of course, our stuff come, uh, comes in the box. I wanted to show people comes in the box. And then we need to install our hubs in our unit so we can just slide this bad boy on. So we get it out of the box and out of the package. And we got to take these two screws out. Hold that faceplate assembly in there. This is to help out anybody that's not familiar with this stuff. If you're familiar with it, it's no big deal. But if you're not familiar with it, it's not that big a deal. There's that billet gear body. Just slides down right in there. And then there's that big old retainer ring. And uh, it just fits right in there. So now our hub is locked in and it's not going anywhere. Got it in free man free mode now all we have to do is line the cap back up and get our screws started and then of course We'll stick the other four in that come in the package. It's literally that simple. It's all you have to do. We can install it as one piece, one assembly. We're going to show you how it just slides on. Now, we use these mile markers now because we have found that they are like the best that there is. There's this billet body right here. It's extremely heavy and extremely durable. And here's the outside cap right here. This, this is cast stainless steel, metal, metal, metal. There's the gear right there. This mile marker's first class. There's not a plastic part in it. If you can find a plastic part, you call me and let me know. We were using another style hub that has some plastic parts and some tender ears right here that's cast pop metal. And, of course, we had some experiences with them breaking. You can see how the turn rings broken off and anyway obviously it did not meet our standards naturally so there you go my friends that's all you have to do just pull the cap slide it on down install your retainer re ring and that's all there is to it all right god bless you god bless america and uh happy four by four